Hey, it's Dave from Bullpen Cycles and we're not at our shop in Florida. We are in rural northeastern Pennsylvania. Doesn't look like Florida, huh? So we're on our way to the New York State Pennsylvania line to visit our friend Don Miller at Metro Racing and show him this. This is a 1975 Harley Davidson 250 MX prototype. It looks a little rough, but it's actually very complete. Champion manufactured the frame. McGurr controls, Showa front suspension, Showa rear suspension. Hey, why not? If fork suspension works on the front, why not on the back? Disc brakes by Hurst Earhart. All the missing pieces are here. Here's your original blue O-Re grips. Don's gonna breathe on it for me. And I'm gonna pick up my other interesting race bike. I have a 750 Westlake Twin. It's a, a GTR, they made 10. And we'll tell you about that when we visit Don. But this is also here, this is interesting. This is a 250 Moto Vila. It's a one-off bike. It was built by my friend Don West. I'm told it's one of maybe a handful of water-cooled 250 Moto Vila engines known to exist here in the United States. The chassis is mostly Boltaco Astro, custom swing arm from Meng Specialties. I updated the brakes. This is Astro Glass, modern wheels. That was the terror of AMA District 6, ridden by Tom Majeski. That's his number, 3A. I think in 84. I'll find some pictures for you. I'd be remiss if I didn't point out the Mark Charles vintage motorcycle stand. It says Mark Charles. This is what we had before we had handy lifts. These were portable. You can jack up the back, change the front. There it says, what does that say? Jackie Lindsay. Anyway, let's, uh, let's head up to Metro Racing. Take the next right onto Britain Road, it said. What the heck is this? In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Ritchie Road T792. I wonder if it's even a road. I'm waiting for the little banjo to start playing. Road T792. That's it. I think that's a simplex out front for the mailbox. Nope, he's got my bike out front. There it 
is. I have arrived. Here we are. This is not a Triumph motor. It's a Westlake 750. It's pre-unit. It's got much stronger cases. It's a four valve twin. This bike originally had a Buley two-speed transmission. It was a GTR. George, Ted, and Roger. Ted Hubbard from North Carolina along with two Brits. Number 43 was Jimmy Sutter. He's not with us anymore. I got this bike in pieces. Just the engine and the frame. The wheels were stolen, the glass was missing. The engine was stuck. Had a number of different people help me. This is the first production. Well, I guess it's even before production. This is the first GTR ever made. It's number one tell that because it was the painted frame other ones had the they call it a chrome frame but it, I suspect they were nickel plated more on that later let's find Don oh there he is hiding he doesn't want to be on camera I'll turn it off so we're back from our trip to Pennsylvania so here in Florida Let's see if this thing's going to start. So, uh, holy crap. Well, I guess I'm going to need a bigger, a bigger boat, a bigger starter. I got an Optima battery. I'll put it on a charge, but holy cow. I know it runs, I heard it, but you can't hear it run on this trip. We haven't given up yet. We've got our charger fully charged and a trick to turn this thing over. So let's hope it starts. trick is backing it off. That's the trick. Again, I don't have any choke. Try choke. That should have lit. Oh, you know what? Duh. I didn't plug in the battery here. <laughs> That makes me happy. 
very happy. Heck, I'm even breathing heavy, huh? Good deal.